Welcome back, pets and technology, two of the things we love most in here to tell us about some of the best ways we can sort of get the two, the both of the best of both worlds, I should say. Yeah, the absolutely. Naoma has got an <laughs> unbelievable screen uh, saver. So what, this what do you call is, it? This is just random, but it's um, called dog licking screen. It's just something fun. Not Hold dog on. looking, dog, dog licking, licking screen. screen. Oh. It's got like oh, one million yeah. downloads. It's just a fun little app where you can have a video of a dog licking a screen. Um, my boys kind of like it. We also have, um, they also have puppies and different kinds of dogs. Look at this. <laughs> bit just <laughs> like dripping down. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> so that's just a fun free app you can download and then activate it and just have something to I smile like at all day long if you like dogs. <laughs> that's so great. The next one is called Bring Fido. It's a website just for if you're looking to travel with your pet or your dog. Okay. It li lists specifically hotels, attractions, oh. dog parks, things that you may need to do, the ratings, even restaurants that you can bring your dog to. Oh. So if you're looking wow. to go to different parts and you're trying to find out where to take your dog and if it's pet friendly, mm -hmm. go to that website. It's got all, even got reviews for you. My uh, sister and her husband drove all the way across country with their dog. That would have been perfect. Yes. Really? Every yes. place they stayed had to accommodate animals. Mm -hmm. And they did it. Yep. And back. Oh, yeah, I like that. Um, next one is we have WebMD for to check symptoms of ourselves. If we yes. have something we don't, we're not quite sure what's going on. I have on. that on my phone. You do? Yes. Well, here's another one, PetMD. Okay. So it's specifically nice. for pet symptoms. So you may not need to take your, your pet to the veterinarian. Just kind of see what's going on. Why are they sneezing? What's going on? You can check there for different things that you may be going on with your dog. Um, so you don't have to always go to the vet for the, unless it's an emergency. Very I good. Like that. And then the last one is kind of important. It's called TAG, T-A-G-G. -G. It's a GPS tracker, kind of like a wearable tech. You attach it to your dog's collar okay. so that you can monitor if they decide to escape. Oh, you can find good. them quickly, but also monitors their activity level. So if you're just wondering what they're doing all day long while you're at work and they're at home, are they just sitting around or are they, you know, being very active? You can kind of see what they're doing throughout the day, their activity level, and kind of compare versus other days. Kind of spying. I that like app that. is not very free, good. though. <laughs> there is um, a little cost, $69 for the actual GPS tracker. Okay. And then it's a small monthly fee, I think maybe $5 a month to keep it activated. We're about out of time, but do you know who we're looking at on the big screen I here? I know, it's Aisha's puppy. <laughs> that is, well, and he looks like a puppy, but he's really not. So cute. He's like Four. So well, it's <laughs> National Pet Day, so I think we're collecting photos. So mm -hmm. we want uh, people to submit their photos in to our gallery on Facebook, Twitter, yeah. um, National Pet Day on 13 News Now. Check us out on Instagram too. Yeah, and we're going to continue to so show the photos that we've been getting in mm -hmm. throughout the rest of the show as well. All right, we Naoma. love it. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Naoma. We'll be back.